What are the problems on the circuit? We don't know it. It's the biggest problem. I mean, it is a great circuit. It's a circuit that requires quite a lot of, of you know, careful work because you can really get the car sliding in, uh, or drifting, as they call it. And uh, I think, therefore, one needs to know pretty well. Otherwise, you quite easily hit the side, and we obviously don't want to damage the cars or ourselves. That's the problem. Let's you know, get your first impression of the circuit. I think it's uh, it's very novel and, uh, and quite interesting to tell you the truth. <laughs> Were you handling it towards the end of the uh, the laps? Uh, I'm not sure whether I did better at the end or at the beginning, to tell you the truth. Uh, <laughs> at one time, I couldn't get any gears at all. I tried to get over too far on the right, and there's no track over there. Jackie Hicks was not the only one to have a scrape. Jackie, it seems that you've got marks down the cars on exactly the same positions. What happened? What happened to you, actually, Jack? What, uh, with a mark on the car? Yeah. Well, I had to use the fence to stop me from flying out. <laughs> Whereabouts was that? Um, the very first real sharp right no the second right hander yeah the second sharp right hander and what about you roy i touched the arm go on the first corner past the pits by going into the hotel area <laughs> jackie can i just disturb you a second how did you get this bar down your motor car well i follow my master jack and uh <laughs> I, I think the car was just a bit too wide <laughs> Did it the same place as Jack. I was following it. <laughs> In fact, there was really quite a race going on between the two of you. The gap was closing a little bit, but yeah. I think you've done about 330.5, uh, Jack. Are you happy with that? Yeah. They're very happy. Was it was it noticeably um, not easier, but it was it was much better this time, presumably. Well, yeah, we know getting to know the know circuit. Yeah, you know, it makes a big difference when you know the circuit. You said yesterday that you you were looking for points of identification. You know That's the country. Right, yeah. Did you I'm pick those up today? I'm starting to recognise the scenery. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah, the only trouble is there was a girl hanging over the fence with a red shirt and she moved and I didn't know where I was. Do you think it's really competitive? Well, it started out as a bit of a joke, but you could see the way the guys are going yesterday in practice that uh, they're taking it a lot more seriously than, uh, than, we, than we were expecting. You know, they're sort of pumping up the tyres and taking the air filters out and we're really having a full go. And I are think you competitive? I mean, you feel really competitive in the race? Well, not really. After seeing the practice times yesterday, I'm not as going as well as I'd hoped. But of course, we've got a bit more practice today, so we'll see how it goes. Who are the people that you're most concerned about? All of them. And all of them will be driving identical 1.6 litre Ford Escorts. A car sunny afternoon race day and every spare inch of this tortuous and thrilling circuit is crammed with eager spectators. It's a far cry from Brands Hatch, Silverstone or Monaco. For many of them the event is something of a curiosity. But for the enthusiasts the thought of seeing these great drivers racing together for the first time is a really exciting one. Vera against Brabham. Most against Unser. X against Hull. And for the drivers, as well as the spectators, it's the first time in more ways than one. Is it going to be a really competitive race, despite the generation difference? Oh, yeah, sure. You get these people in a racing car, and they're going to try their damnedest uh, every time. Twelve laps to go, 45 miles around Macau as they stream down to Statue Bend for the first time.